Hello everybody and welcome to our screencast LifeGrade introduction. My name is Christian Schröder and I'm one of the creators of LifeGrade. Today I'll give you a short introduction into LifeGrade, a professional media application developed by Pomfort. LifeGrade allows you to interactively manipulate live video images coming from a digital film camera. LifeGrade can be used in both technical and creative scenarios. In a technical scenario, for example, it allows you to display a log signal for preview on a video monitor by applying a lookup table. In a more creative scenario, for example, it allows you to apply a creative color manipulation to see its interaction with lighting and makeup. Never before you've been able to do this in such an intuitive way and for such an affordable price. LifeGrade is a Mac OS X application that requires Snow Leopard or Lion. You can download LifeGrade from our website pomfort.com slash LifeGrade. LifeGrade is available as a 14-day unlimited trial. You can run LifeGrade in device simulation mode during the trial if you don't have the necessary hardware available. However, to fully utilize LifeGrade in your production, you'll want to use it with the following hardware devices. First, a digital film camera with SDI out, such as the Ari Alexa, the Sony R3 or many others. Second, a Blackmagic HD-Link device, no matter which model. Third, an SDI monitor, or, if sufficient for your needs, a standard computer screen. The necessary cabling, of course. And at last, you'll need a Mac with the USB port, such as the MacBook Air. Here's how you set them up. Connect the SDI out of the camera to the SDI in of the HD-Link. Connect the output of the HD-Link device to your monitor. Finally, connect the Mac to the HD-Link. In this setup, LifeGrid is running on the Mac. It controls the HD-Link device, which in turn manipulates the colors of the SDI signal. Therefore, the image you will see on the monitor is a live image from the camera with the LifeGrade color adjustments applied. Now that we got our hardware up and running, let's take a look at the LifeGrade software. When you open LifeGrade, you'll first see its main window. The main window is split into an upper and a lower part. The upper part contains the grade library with all the elements you need to manage your grades. We'll come back to it later on. For now, let's concentrate on the lower part, which contains the device control. This is where the magic happens. On the left, you can see the HD-Link devices connected to your machine. In my setup, there are two devices attached, each connected to a separate camera. On the right, you can see standard CDL grading controls with three color balls, an array of text fields, and a saturation slider. As usual in CDL grading, the balls manipulate the shadow, midtones, and highlight color ranges of the image. The text fields show the RGB values of these color balls. As you can see, when I drag the color balls, the RGB values in the text fields change accordingly. Now let's bring up the image from our external monitor. What you see here is the live image coming from the camera, routed through the HD-Link and output via its SDI out. In our setup, the camera outputs a REC709 signal, so we can work directly on that signal. If you are working with a LOCC signal, you can also apply a lookup table to convert your signal to REC709. Now let's do some live grading. As you can see in the live image, when I drag the color balls, the image changes accordingly. The same holds true for the saturation slider. This is pretty much all you need to know to interactively manipulate the colors of an SDI signal. Now let's take a look on how to save and organize your grades. Therefore, we go back to the grade library. The grade library is split into four parts. At the top, you can manage your projects. On the left, you can create folders for grades within the current project. In the middle, you can see all the grades which belong to the currently selected folder. 
A grate holds all the necessary color adjustments for the device control. On the right, you see the grate history, which allows you to go back in time and restore previous versions of your grate. Finally, between the grate library and the device control, you find the buttons to create or apply grades to the HD-Link device. Now let's assume you achieved a grade you like and want to save it for later use. Simply click the Create button to create a new look from the current adjustments on the HD-Link device. The new look appears at the top of the grade table. If you want to load another look onto the HD-Link device, select it and click the Apply button. As you can see, the grading controls and the image change accordingly. The grades you created can be exported as CDL files or 3D LUT files. You can do so by opening the File menu from the LiveGrade main menu and selecting either the menu item for saving the values of the CDL controls as a CDL file, or select the menu item for saving your entire grade as a 3D LUT in a variety of formats. This was just a glimpse of the comprehensive feature set of LiveGrade. There are many more things to discover, such as the Alexa Lux grading mode, support for ICC profiles, and the unique Cubascope, a revolutionary visualization tool for lookup tables. You can find more information about LiveGrade on the Palmford website, palmford.com. Please also refer to the Palmford knowledge base at kb.palmford.com to find more in-depth documentation about the additional features and workflows. Thanks a lot for watching.